Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm gonna be showing you how to make these snowman earrings. If you think that they are not good for earrings, just put them on the Christmas tree as a decoration or add them as a decoration to different presents. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step, so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. But if you are a beginner and want to see this circular stitch without pattern to get how it's done, I have a tutorial here that you could check out which is only plain this circular stitch. And then you could come back to this one and make the snowman. Okay, so in this part I'm gonna be showing you only how to make the head of the snowman and two or three days from now I will post another tutorial where I'm gonna be showing you how to make the body and stitch them together. Without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so I'm showing in this video the head of my snowman and I will leave it here as a pattern. But I will tell you the materials that you're going to need for the whole project, for the head and for the body of the snowman. Okay, so uh, what I use here are three colors of 11-0 seed beads, white, red and black. And here I'm using 8 beads in red and white color as well. By the way, you could check description for full list of materials, Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel with the fast clips and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Okay, let's continue. I'm using here also monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors and the pliers are not obligatory only if I need to go through the difficult bits. And by the way, for this tutorial, I'm not using these red seed beads and these white ato beads because I will use them in the second part of the tutorial where I'm making the body. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, and I'm going to start my work following this head as a pattern. Okay, so what I have here in the center are eight white beads and one red bead in the middle. Okay, and how I started, I pick up eight beads. Okay, I have my eight here and I'm sliding those down almost until the end of my work. I stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made and I'm pulling and I make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure and then what I do is that I go through some beads in this direction. Okay guys, and I have this central circle ready and I'm going to take one of my red atos and I'm going to count one, two, three, four beads from where my thread is exiting out of. Okay, this is the fourth bead. And I wanna go through it and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. So I'm going through the opposite bead and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. Okay, and I have this. Now I will go through the following seed bead. And now I'm going to take one white bead and I'm going back in circle through this white in the inner circle. Okay, and you see what I have. I have a, a loop between the inner bead and the outer bead. Then I go through the following white bead and I take one white again and I go back through this one and I also go through the following and I pull. Then I take one more go back like this through this one and through the following take one more go back again through this one and through the following just to save time okay 
and I will continue this four more times until the end of this circle. Okay, now I have these guys, half of my second row ready, and as I'm exiting here in the inner row, I want to zigzag through the bead and exit here in the outer row. Okay, now I'm here, and what I want to do next is add white beads. Okay, here I'm adding a white bead. Okay. And let me take my pattern now. You see, I'm here at this second row. And here at the second row, I start my eyes. This is the angle of my eye. So my nose is in this direction. Because this bit is donut shaped, I want to be uh, here situated in this direction. So the hole is pointing like this. You see, here is the hole. And I have three bead space between the angles of my eyes. That is why I want to add uh, one of the eyes here. In this way uh, they will be so situated in the same direction towards the nose and here I will add the other eye when I get to it. And until I get to it, I'm adding white beads everywhere in this row. And I'm up to here where I need to add the eye. And I'm adding it. Okay, now guys, what I want to do is reach here this angle of the eye. And by the way, first you might want to reinforce your work because it will be a little bit loose and moving around at this stage. So how I reinforce it, I just go around one more time through all of the beads in my second row which are by the way 16 and I doubled them doubled the first row the first row uh, was from 8 beads and now this one is from 16 so I doubled the beads okay this is part of the formula okay so now I'm exiting here out of the eye you see after this black bead and what I want to do is flip my work guys okay so <clears throat> exiting here out of this eye I want to take two beads like this and go back through the eye and through the following bead okay now in this row which is the third one I will double every second bead or half of the beads and since I doubled this bead here the next one I will add only one bead and then I'm going through two. Okay, here again I want to add two beads because I double every second. Here is the time to add two beads and go back in circle to the next bead. Then I take one and go back in circle through the next bit. And now guys, I might want to consult with my pattern because here is the mouth. And you see between this uh, corner of the eye and the mouth, there are one, two, three, four beads. So here in my next one, I need to add this first uh, black bead. But it's time to add two bleed beads, so I will add a black and a white. Okay, and as I'm exiting here, uh, after this bead, you see, this is the bead where I'm exiting out of, if you don't see it on camera. And here, what I need to add is a white and a black 
because I'm adding them backwards, I first take the white and then the black and when I go like this, in fact the black is before the white. In my next step, according to my pattern, I need another black bead <clears throat> and I'm taking it just one because in my previous step I had two now it's time to add one I'm adding it here and I'm going through the next bit okay here in my next step I need to add two beads and they will be black and white okay and then I go back like this Okay, then in my next step I need only one bead which is white and I go through the following and then I need two beads but I want to finish my mouth here and I need black one here so the first one I'm taking is white and the second one is a black one and I go like this. Okay, and with this my mount is finished and now I will be adding only white beads until I reach the eye here. Okay, I need one white because in my previous step I added two, now I need only one and I pull. Then I need two whites. Okay, like this and I'm going to add one white bead and then I'm going to add two for the eye in my next step again I'm adding one Then I'm adding two and then I'm adding one. Okay, I have this and you know when I make a row I need to reinforce it. Okay, how I do this? I go here in these beads and I go around through all of this circle. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and after I did this step, in my next one the row will be really easy because I will be doubling every third bead and I will add only white beads, okay? So the formula works, you double all, you double half, you double one third of the beads, okay? So if here I add two beads, around this one in my next two steps I will add one bead okay so here one and in my next step one again and I won't be thinking of my pattern because here this row will be only of white beads okay and I take two again go back like this and one by one add two more beads first one and then one again Okay, and continue this until the end and meet me here. Okay, guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last white bead from this row. And you know you work correctly if you, next to this uh, first step that you added two beads and you started your work from, you have two single beads before it, okay? So you know you work correctly. And now I want to reinforce this work. So here in the first row I have 8, then 16, then 24, then 32. I double the beads, 
I double half of the beads and I double one third of the beads. And if you continue on this pattern, as you will see, then you double one fourth of the beads in the next row. Okay, so now, of course, what I want to do is reinforce it because uh, the beads are moving around. Okay, I'll reinforce it and I'll be back here and I'll tell you how to make the hat. Okay, guys, and when I reinforced my work, I'm here at the corner of my eye. You see here at this step, okay? And what I want to do is take two beads and I go back through these beads that I'm exiting out of, okay, this one. Then uh, I'm going in the next white bead, just like this. And I'm going to add one bead, okay, one. And I go back in circle through this bead and exit through the next one. Then in my next step, I'm going to take two beads again. Okay, two. And I go back like this. Then I'm going to take just one bead. And I go back like this. And here at this step, I'm going to take two. And I go like this. Okay, so this will be the head, the beginning of the head of my snowman. And I'm flipping my work like this. And what I want to do now is go through all of the beads here. In this direction. Okay, then I will flip again. Flip your work the way it's easier for you. And now I need six black beads. Okay, six of them. And what I do is that I go here through the second bead, just like this. Now I have this. Then I go through all of the beads one more time. And I'm going to repeat this same thing from this side. I exit from the last bead here. I take six black beads. Okay, six. And I go backwards and through the second black bead here. Okay, and I have this and I'm going to flip. Okay, then what I want to do is go through the following bead. Then I take two beads and I go back in circle through these two and through the following two. This is what I have. I go back in circle adding two beads, okay? You see here I have a loop between these two beads and these next two beads. And then I take two and I go back in circle through these two. And if you can, in one movement, go through the next two beads as well. So in fact, I'm going through four beads while backwards I'm adding two. Okay, and then here to finish this row, I need two more beads. So I added six beads in total here in the center of my hat. And now to make them stay in a straight line, I'm going through all of those beads. Okay, then in my next step, I'm going to repeat this, what I did in my previous row. Two beads and as I'm exiting here, I'm going like this and adding two. Okay, 
then I will go through these two newly added beads and I want to add two more okay and I go back through these two in the previous row the next two okay then again through this newly added two and I need two again and go back through the next two and then backwards like this okay then in my next step I want to go backwards in this direction one more time and I want to exit here from the first black bead in this direction and from here guys I need six beads okay I have my six beads here and as I'm exiting here from the last bead I'm going here from the last but from the other side of my work okay then what I want to do is go in this direction in the shortest possible way and I want to go in the middle two of these six that I added okay so one two three four beads in this direction and i'm taking one white bead my earring finding and then one more white bead and then in my next step guys i'm going back here like this and i'm pulling Okay, then I want to reinforce. Then I'm going through some beads in this direction and I want to make a knot and cut my thread. And I'm making it by making here a loop. And I'm going once. Then I'm going second time through the loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull. And then I go through the following seed bead like this. And if you want, you could do some more knots. And after you're ready, go through the following bead and cut your thread okay now guys i have the first part of my snowman ready the heads of my snowmans and by the way if you don't want a halloween mount you could do this solid so it doesn't look creepy okay and now here is the body of my snowman that i'm gonna be showing you how to make in my next video see you in two days